Hello, welcome back to Blend Switch Live. In this episode, I want to show you how you can turn a 2D image into a 3D mesh like this um, that you can see inside Blender. It's uh, You can also give different light. And yeah, the, the secret is Dust 3R. This is actually quite new. It was released three days ago. Uh, you can read the paper here from Naver. Um, so Dust dust 3r geometric 3d vision made easy so basically you you have you can have a single photo image and or multiple photos and you can turn it into 3d uh, point cloud or 3d mass uh, using very simple steps um, yeah you can try to install it uh, this way the one i'm using is actually uh, i already have one running over here it's running locally so you don't need to go online um i'm running this and installing it using uh pinocchio okay pinocchio is an ai ai browser so you basically if you want to install this all you need to do is go to okay let's go to the home page and then you go to discover and you find this dust 3r i'm running this on mac os all you need to do is just find this dust 3r and then just download it and then go through the installations and then after a few minutes you have it running like this one over here so it's pretty simple once it's ready you simply click on the on the link and it's gonna open locally on safari okay and this is one example i actually i took a photo of my shoes old shoes and dust 3r will take a look at the two image convert it calibrate it it's gonna create a, like a some kind of depth map and then it's gonna do the camera mat matching and calibrations and then you get the the 3d objects so it's pretty easy to use let me show you for example okay we have seen this one okay i can try this sushi vespa just run this so a single image um it can be any photo as you can see we get result within just under 15 seconds so yeah it's pretty cool actually you get this actually uh the camera that's uh being used to create this 3d image we get the like a normal and depth there's actually quite a view um app out there that's kind of trying to convert um, 2d image into spatial media and uh, this is another example this is still better but you can download movie and it's gonna turn it into 3d which is really cool let me show you so if you have okay this pig image So right away we have this depth image. You have you probably have seen this. It's gonna create stereo as well. Likewise, okay, we can we can use the peak image. Run. So this is the default. I think it's the default setup. So we have the peak image right away. And we can download this. There's also an option here to use as to create a point cloud. You can see it's really, really dense. Um, oh yeah, I think the default is actually complete. Let's turn off this. Mask the sky, what is this? Let's run this again. So it's really, really fast. And we're gonna have okay this one is generating stereo okay this is a 3d it's different i think this one the special media converter can actually convert video as well which is really really cool in in the future we can have a flat image and it's gonna turn it into 3d let's take a look at the actual mass inside blender so this is another example this was created using mid journey uh, by my friend so this file import glb 
downloads have too many folder okay so this is the it's not actually camera i wish they actually released the camera as well it's not camera but we, we can have the orientations this is the actual mesh oh okay this is oh this is point cloud okay point cloud with color attributes all right yeah you can perhaps use geometry nodes to load this the actual mesh file import jlb this one you have you have this image the original image and then the actual 3d mesh the 3d mesh is quite dense you can perhaps do a cleanup but as you can see it doesn't really have color but it's, it has this color attributes that we can we can use uh, here we can turn it on here or we can create another material to apply the color save as angry pig okay this one okay let's say okay this need a material shader color attribute color plug this in okay now we should have proper material <laughs> cool see the depth actually working we can see the pigs keep looking at the camera uh, this we don't need this so for this guy uh, right click actually f3 clear pattern and keep transformations you can delete the rest This is using using EV. You can see the lights working. You can do like relighting. You can have multiple piggy, and this one will will work because it's it's already kind of two and a half D. So we can have this. Okay. Kind of cool yeah uh, we have seen this a few of these in the in the past when in the past we kind of using like online surface this one actually running on the on your machine uh, for free and so this is the dev and then the normal I think if you have multiple image I tried uh, with a multiple image as well the my okay this is this is a sharp look at this in just around 10 seconds we get a kind of 3d-ish sharp a okay this is my old shoes i took two photos they have different slightly different color but it should be fast enough to look at the two and then combine it into a single so it's become 3d there's a you can already do like 3D scanning using iPhone, so that's uh, another thing. But I think with this method, you can take photos, few photos of like a, a house, for example. You don't need a drone to scan the whole house. You just take a few angle shots the, of the image and then of the house, and then you can turn it into 3D, like a photogrammetry. Um, I think I have image of opera house taken from just few shots around it so i think that could work but yeah as you uh, the whole process become really easy i think thanks to pinocchio as well pinocchio is really really cool i have i have a couple of different app running here already okay like a chatbot olama there's many there's many ai app out there um including this one that's that's 3r that i am demonstrating 
if I ever want, for example, I have this AI running, right? I have llama. Let's try, let's try stable llama, for example. Um, give me a design of car that is really wacky, wacky and quirky made of sushi a car and now the ai is running and uh, um yeah it's pretty fast okay a sushi okay a simplify and summarize into a simple prompt visual visually accurate des description of the car Uh, this is not very describe the sushi car with intricate details. It's too general. Hmm. Yeah, it's still kind of too general with stable LM. Maybe create a new chat using I think Orca Orca is actually pretty good. You can go image creator. Okay, this one's a little bit more creative. See if it's uh, let's so a car made entirely of sushi, roof made of pepperoni, sausage window. Yeah, this is I cannot make a wacky sushi is a Japanese, blah blah. It's not doesn't have <laughs> okay, it's actually recommending a different things. <laughs> Pretzel, yeah, okay. The the 3D, okay, the the only limitations of duster probably it doesn't really create 3d in the sense not the whole thing so if you have this image run it we're gonna have just a simple yeah, it's like a, it's not exactly 3D. There's another method that actually try to reimagine this image from different angles, and then you can, and then you can use this together with that to get something that's more or less like 3D. Probably I should have installed that one as well. But for now, I think we have our pretzel car pretzel with sprinkles i think it's pretty cool cool concept the fact that it's, it's actually kind of isometric it's making it easier what is the other one mesh meshy ai meshy ai can create 3d out of a single image okay oh, okay don't worry about this but yeah you can see that you can try this yourself on your computer so using pinocchio install us 3r convert 2d into 3d and have fun a little bit right so yeah hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you